Well, U.S. demographics. And this is this is a map right off of Wikipedia. U.S. demographics by um, ethnic background or how people self-identify um, by county, and it's it's an interesting map because uh, it's almost as if the more things change, the more things stay the same. I'll kind of blow it up a little more. Uh, this blue up here is people identify as German American, um, and you see this color right in here, it's kind of like, um, I don't know what you call that, almost like a, a pale yellow. They're, that's that's people identify themselves as American. The purple identifies himself as African American, and you see over here in New Jersey, southern New York, Connecticut, part of Rhode Island, Italian American, and then you have the Irish in a darker purple, and the English in a lighter purple, and the French up here in the blue, the dark, the medium blue. But, you know, it's almost as if nothing has ever changed. You know, if you go back to the demographics from 200 years ago, maybe, um, this is, you know, the French-speaking part of Canada, it hasn't changed. So, like, in other words, the influence in the counties in America, where it is French-speaking, or not French-speaking, or French, people identifying as French in America, it's, it's the same as it was, I don't know, two, three hundred years ago. Um, also... The the same with um, the African community, the black black community in the South. This is where slavery was mainly um, instituted in the Southern states. It's the same. Blacks have never exited out of the um, the South and went west. <laughs> you look west is, you know, and, and you look down here in the Southern United States. It's the pink represents um, more ethnic um, Mexican heritage. Uh, Utah is uh, English. This yellow is uh, the darker yellow is uh, Indian, American Native Indian, if you want to call it that. Uh, it's actually, it's amazing that the more things change, the less the less things actually. As time goes by, things really don't change. People have, for generations, basically have roots in areas, and they just don't move. Now I moved. <laughs> I know I did. Uh, I might actually move up to Tennessee, where I guess it's American. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm down in Florida, where it's mainly German. That's amazing. Um, I guess so. From my father's side, I'd be American because he's all the way back to the 1600s. And uh, but he's man, his mother was I guess German, sort of whatever the hell Austrian Hungary. My mother, my mother though, is Italian. So uh, you know, it's uh, it's amazing how the the ancestral roots of people going all the way back in the United States and you're looking at the localities you know it becomes very apparent that things have never really changed much um, finish way here on the top that's the lighter green um, this is Norwegian up here over here which kind of goes along with uh, the type of climate where these people have lived <laughs> in other words you know you live in a cold area you're kind of used to a cold area so you're in the northern United States uh, the dark green is Dutch there's Dutch, not not many around actually. So, uh, but um, it's amazing that you know nothing has really changed that much. And you know, for as much as people call the United States the Great Melting Pot, eh, it sort of isn't. It really isn't, man. It really does have a lot of regionality to it. Um, there's a lot of division in different ways. It's not just ethnically, but it's also um, economically, also traditionally through just where you're from. I mean, um, you know, it could be different ethnic backgrounds from the Northeast or different Af ethnic backgrounds from the Southeast. But then you have commonality because you're from those regions, you know, if you've been from those regions for many years. Um, but it's amazing that the more things change, nothing has really changed in the United States. Um, more of the American Native Indian populations are out West, of course. But, yeah, there are certain pockets. Like, I don't think they show it down here like you have in... Um, uh, North Carolina, oh yeah, you do show right here in this one county, that would be the Cherokee, and then South Florida, you have the Seminole Indians, um, there's also pockets of Indian reservations, um, yeah, reservations across the United States by county, but it's amazing that, um, you know, people of a particular, you know, birds of a feather flock together, that's really what the hell goes on. It's sort of like we're the United States, but then again, we're not the United States. And, you know, this is another reason for states' rights, to tell you the truth. I know a lot of people criticize the Confederacy and say, well, it was all about slavery. Now, I think I disproved that many times over. But again, again, 
um, it gives a little bit more impetus for the um, you know rationale behind states rights so in other words if you're an area that is mainly I don't know what the hell's an area so maybe you're, you're you look at um, um, Nevada over here so you have a lot of uh, Native American population here so maybe that should be a state where more rights are you know stronger for Native American population. In other words, if the state, not Nevada, I meant to say Arizona, and Nevada's up there. Arizona, Arizona, actually, you know, Nevada would be pretty strong on Native American population, too. Also, Oklahoma. So why not have, if you have more states' rights, in other words, you know, the Native Americans are probably the ones getting screwed over the most in the United States, but if you have more states' rights, you can make more, you have more leverage over what happens in your community. Similarly, I guess you would say in, um, Mississippi, South Carolina would be more for the black populations um, that, you know, you can have exercise more influence over the ca what happens in those states. For the black populations, if you're not dealing with Washington, D.C. as much, uh, and then you're going to have, like, Kentucky would be the American. American, that's interesting because I guess when you're talking about American, that means you pretty much came over on the Mayflower. You were one of the original settlers from um, in Virginia. I know my my I don't know what the heck greats that would be 10, 11, 12 greats grandfather came over to Virginia at Isle of Wight which is the second settlement in uh, after Jamestown so you know from my father's side I'm definitely American <laughs> that's about as American as you get you know, go all the way back but you know if I go to my grandmother and my my mother and all that you know because as a matter of fact my mother's uh, parents um, um my mother's mother spoke Italian, all her aunts and uncles, but she doesn't. But, you know, now it's Americanized. So, But it's a matter of, you know, not, the more things change, the more they stay the same. The demographics in the United States has hardly changed. You look at Utah, mainly, well, it's just the English, but that's really the Mormon, right? It's more the Mormon. It's very much a Mormon state. And everything is regionalized. I don't know how the hell it You know, it's amazing how the globalist think they're going to freaking put everything together in one big um, supra uh, globalist, whatever you want to call it, nation, whatever you want to say, governing body. And you, know, when you look at the United States, it's not even that united. We're regionalized to, to the max. And there's a lot of different opinions as to, I saw a map one time I thought it was pretty funny about how New Yorkers think of the rest of the country. Now me, having grown up in New York, even though I haven't been there since, I don't know, Oh God, 35 years or more. Um, and not in New York City, but very close to New York City. I haven't been there for 35 years or more. I could say that's pretty much the way <laughs> they think of the rest of the country. You know, they'll say Iowa. Where the hell is that? Never heard of it. You know, I don't even want to say what they say about the South. They freaking hate the South. They think Florida's all for grand grandpas and grandpas. And I don't know what they think about oh California. They think is La La Land, and they think. Uh, the Maine and New Hampshire is all part of Canada or something. I don't know what the hell they think. Well, it, it was kind of funny because I remember that was kind of how the the North, the North uh, New York City area thinks of the rest of the world in the United States. But we're still regionalized. We're regionalized not only by ethnicity, but we're also regionalized by area. You know, your area. Now, this is actually a little bit, you know, if you look at this map here, you can see, you know, if you're looking about the states, it's, it's not as clear, though. Um, you can see this is, uh, you know, the, the light blue is Germanic. Um, the, the, the purple is black African-American. And the pink is the Mexican influence. The yellow is, or the pale yellow is the American. And up here, this is um, Irish with the, uh, I think that's Irish or whatever the hell it is. No, that's, I think that's Italian. Excuse me, Italian. It's Italian. And then the, dark, the purple is um, over here. The darker purple is Irish, and the northern um, top it, part of Maine and Vermont is English. So let me just tell you that, you know, nothing's really changed in the United States that much. <laughs> I mean, here we've been around for, what, hundreds of years? And, you know, the United States, even in its form as it is today, it's been around a good century. And it's nothing's really changed. Even the last couple hundred years, what the hell has changed? Nothing, nothing, and it's it just tells you, you know, it it it's my thoughts on this damn thing. It's like, how the hell are the globalists going to put together a whole bunch of different nations under one hat? It's impossible. It's ridiculous. 
What a bunch of know-it-alls. What a bunch of myopic freaking dictators. You know, here in the United States, it actually gives a hell of a lot more impetus to go back to more states' rights because states' rights means you got more governance over where the hell you're from. I mean, in other words, if you're basically all your counties are identifying as American German or Black African American or Mexican or or Irish or whatever Italian or whatever, you you know maybe you should be a little bit more on par with whatever the peoples are in as areas and. And, you know, administer those states in such a way. Maybe there's a little bit of difference in what people's needs are. That's why we always had states' rights, supposedly, you know, until the Confederacy lost. You know, that's one thing I freaking get pissed off about because a lot of people, I know the brainwashing out there is like, oh, the Confederacy was about slavery. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't. You know, the freaking they're doing that before, they're saying that a lot for because um, the Confederacy is for individual, you know, you know, sex, you know, like in other words, breaking down things where it's not centralized control. In other words, hey, we don't like Big Brother telling us what the hell to do. We don't like freaking dictators from coming out of centralized authority. Now, I know some people disagree with that, but I also put out from before that, you know, the Southerners had to compete with gainful employment against slaves, and I was like, you know, how the hell are you going to do that? Uh-huh. You know, in other words, um, the big plantations owned all the slaves at that time, and the Southerners that are average whites that didn't own any slaves, which is like 97% of them, you know, how the hell were they going to compete with slave labor for gainful employment? And the only type of employment there was back in the South, and then say, oh, I'm going to go fight for the South over slavery. That's like you and me fighting for the globalist corporations to keep their racket going with Chinese uh, labor or something like that, <laughs> you know. So why would the hell would you fight for that, you know? Actually, they're fighting for other things. But, you know, the message they freaking put forth today about one big homogenized freaking United States and everybody's all on the same page, I can tell you that right now, it's never been that way. And actually, if you get into details, even to go down these details finer, like if you look in New York City, New York City is an enclaves of different eth ethnic groups. Actually, the newer ethnic groups are probably mainly Chinese and uh, uh, Russian, a lot of the Russians in Staten Island. And, you know, I mean, people just, you know, stick whatever the hell, whatever they're used to, man. It's just what the hell it is. But, you know, when you're trying to say you're going to govern everybody under a under central authority, that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I think every, everything, I think every state ought to go back to more states' rights. You know, one of the things people could do is start flying their own state flag. And hell with it. I mean, it's not like an ethnic thing. It's really uh, a state thing. But then, you know, when you're looking at the state, you know, what is the state comprised of? If it's mainly, you know, Germanic, Italian, whatever. These are self-identified. I know Italians and Germans are white and Americans are white and English and Irish are white. But, you know, that's how they're self-identifying. They're putting a hyphen over, you know, I'm Italian-American, I'm a German-American, I'm Norwegian-American, whatever. There's a few Norwegians. They're way the hell up here in the cold areas. Finland and coal and Norwegian is up there. And black American and... and uh, Mexican and this darker pink down here is Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican America. That's Puerto Rican. So if you see Puerto Rico, it's all dark pink, right? But it's like so if you're going for states' rights, you can more, um, you know, concentrate whatever your policies you are in your government more geared to the ethnic needs of certain people, right? But they don't like that. These guys on the top, they want to play like God with, uh, you know, you know what what people are supposed to do and what you know what everybody's supposed to think and all this other bullshit you know the way i look at it man it's always been this way birds of a feather kind of to flock together that doesn't mean you don't like the other birds but that's just how it is right the reality of the situation everybody has a tendency to do that because you know the reality of the situation is you have to hate yourself if you don't want to hang around people that are kind of like your own ethnic background or Maybe your regional background or your educational, cultural background or your interest background, you know. In other words, if, you have, if, you're, if, you're, if you're from the Northeast, you might be, well, I don't like the Northeast, so I'm not, out, I'm not in there anymore. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, the deal is, you know, you tend to, you just tend to do your own thing, and that's what it is. That's what actually the government ought to have, a laissez-faire approach to the way everything's managed in the United States. And if you look at this map, that's just another thing. I'm just bringing this up because this is so damn politically incorrect. I don't give a shit. You know, when you look at the map of the United States, the way it is, um, you know, it's it's divided not only by what type of GDP is produced in all these different areas, but it's also 
it's also a matter of you know um a matter of you know how how people are actually culturally defined by you know they identify themselves as you know something american something hyphen american now the only people that actually say american american is mainly these ones in light um light lime green which is down here in sort of the southeast I probably would more identify with American American than even Italian American, you know. I mean, I got more respect. I don't know. I'm not too much on the Italian stuff. I think I have a lot of respect for ancient Roman culture, not culture, but uh, what ancient Rome did. But I think that's not. That's another. That's a total, total another story. That's not necessarily Italian. Uh, I think I actually more identify as just American American. So. But, uh, you know, people need to actually be able to govern themselves. And, you know, the only way to be self-governing is to have, be closer to states' rights. Um, so, anyway, I, just my thoughts on this, because I was kind of looking at this. I was just, I don't know, I was looking all over the freaking net, and I was saying to myself, wow, this is some weird shit. I was looking at the demographics in, um, you know, different how old people were, cultural identity, and all this type of stuff, and I said, wow, this is pretty freaky. I was looking at maps at how people in Utah think of the rest of the country. I was looking at people in New York, how they think of and I identified with how people in New York think of the rest of the country. Man, I mean, the, the people in New York think everybody in the South is backwards. They do. They think of, um, what is it, Deliverance, the movie Deliverance, that's what they think, I'm telling you, man, they're freaking yo-yos, man, I, I don't know what, you know, I know, I know what they think, man, because I was up there, because I know what they think, uh, they, they think everybody south is backwards, but that's not true, even though they think that, um, and it's a matter of, you know, united we are, supposedly, in theory, but united we really aren't. And, you know, this is one of the theories that the Russians even say about us, that, um, you know, the Americans are going to start, you know, squabbling amongst each other. But I can tell you one thing. Every single nation in this earth has this. You know, we look at a map. We see even, you know, Russia, the Russian Empire. We see a map of China. China's got, like, I don't know, dozens of ethnic backgrounds in that, in that country. Same with Russia. Russia has that. I mean, it's like that in Europe, it's like that in Africa, it's like that in Middle East, everywhere. So, I mean, is the, is the solution to freaking make everybody under a global government? Hell no. These guys are idiots, man. They're trying, they're trying to pull this crap. I mean, it's ridiculous. As, as it is, I think decentralized authority in the United States is freaking screwing up this country as it is. Uh, you know, I know Trump talks about a wall along the bottom border, and you can see, well, you see a lot of Mexican-Americans in southern United States. Well, whatever. But you know what they really need to wall around is Washington, D.C., with all the freaking politics and the freaking dictator type dictatorial controls they got out of that freaking little district. It's ridiculous, man. I mean, you know, we need to go back to states' rights. I know it sounds like a Confederate thing. Some people get turned off about that, but... You got to remember why the, the globalists freaking propagandize so much against the, uh, you know, the war between the states and the Confederate Confederate cause, and why they propagandize it so much. Because they want centralized control, and you know what? The only time you know Confederacy was like, uh, well, it was sort of like the Brexit of the 1861. You know, <laughs> the British said we don't want to be part of the European Union. Well, the South said we didn't want to be part of the freaking. Uh, you know, the union, union, right? So anyway, I know a lot of people disagree with that, but I don't want to freaking get people pissed off. But, you know, there's, if you really dig into that deal, man, um, there's a lot of crap going on, a lot a lot more be beneath the surface than you think, not what is propagandized. But, you know, when you look at this map, you know, by ethnicity alone, God, we're pretty well, we, we are pretty, we're not exactly united the way people think. And... Um, it's a matter of, you know, that's more impetus for going back to states' rights, more for states' rights, because people that are mainly in these states, like you look here, this is German, this is uh, African, this is American, this is Mexican, that's English, and there's Italian and Irish. <laughs> you know, hey, whatever, I know the Irish and Italian and whatever, it all, I mean, Italian's like... I don't know what I don't even, I don't even know what Italian is exactly. I know it's white, but it's sort of like off white. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's like you know 
why why are why are you know why not have the states that are more you know representing that ethnicity why not have them more have more power at the state level oh they don't want that shit right uh -huh. so i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of room for that argument about states rights because demographics in the united states man it's amazing nothing's changed i i would expect it you know a lot more mixture when I looked at this on a county a county level, I said, "Wow, this is, this this looks like that this hasn't changed in like two or three hundred years. It's the same thing. There's nothing's changed, and you know I find that amazing. What can I tell you? What can I say? It's something that I don't know. People don't really look at much, but I, you know I was flabbergasted when I was looking at this. I was like, "Wow," and I was kind of looking around at um, you know how how old people were and what you know what different parts of the country look at how they view other people there was it was pretty funny it was jokes you know like i know new york says iowa where you know i know people in iowa are going to get pissed off at that shit but <laughs> i was <Iowa's> right here it's <laughs> smack in the middle <laughs> uh, anyway <laughs> i can name all these states you know you got north dakota on top there south dakota nebraska kansas oklahoma yeah i can remember that and you got wyoming and uh well not wyoming montana that's Wyoming, Idaho. And I guess when I'm talking, it's going to be off from the, my hand moving on that thing because that's how the stupid software goes. Colorado, Utah, Nevada, California, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, yeah, I know my stupid states. Anyway, and of course, Washington and um, Oregon. Of course, they say it different. I don't know how they say it. You know, when you know an out-of-stater who's out of stater say Oregon. They say it some other way. I forgot how the hell they say it. Massachusetts. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> I love that shit. Anyway, over now, I just figured I'd do this stupid video for the hell of it because you know it's pause for thought. You know, are we actually like the United States? Eh, we're kind of like the regional states. And really, we like it's just this, like when you look at this map and you say to yourself, "What the hell? Why not go back to states' rights?" I and mean, look at Alaska. Alaska's, uh, you know, it should be like the Eskimos there. You know, the indigenous, whatever the hell they call the Eskimos today. I forgot what the hell they call them. You know, I don't, you know, I don't know all these proper words, you know. I mean, look at Alaska. Why did, Why is it, like, why didn't they have more power, you know? You know, they got to get ruled from D.C., right? And, you know, that's one of the deals with the, uh, uh, the American Native peoples. Like, they're ruled from D.C. Now, if they had more states' rights, like this Arizona had more power in that state and had more power in Oklahoma and more power in South Dakota more power in Montana, well, guess what? In Nevada, guess what? They, they, they get a more square deal. But when you manage from a centralized control, when out one little district of Columbia, you get screwed. See? A lot of politics going on here, man, big time.